they started fantastically and they finished strong, but in the middle, a lot of shit slipped and fell in a mud puddle. But uh, I guess the best segment, and <laughs> good Lord, they have managed in three years to get two people, two of their own homegrown people that hadn't been seen on a widespread national television basis over, and they're both in the same program and both in the same segment here, MJF and Wardlow. At Wardlow is the, is the new Goldberg. I'm sensing the hysteria. There's not as many people. You know, Goldberg had the the good luck to come along during the Attitude Era, but there's not as many people watching, but they're as into Wardlow as they were to Goldberg. And the first match on the show, AEW was May 25th, by the way, was Wardlow against Spears in the cage with MJF as referee, and the deal is coming up on the pay-per-view this weekend, Wardlow has to go through all of these, jump through the hoops and fight Spears and beat him and can't touch MJF and blah, blah, blah. So they started out with this, try to keep the people, and this was the best thing they could have started with to keep people because it, 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 the people in the arena were into this from the start, and there was a couple of little things, but otherwise, this top to bottom did exactly what it was supposed to do, which is make people even more frantic to see Wardlow get his hands on MJF. And it was, it was perfect. From MJF's heat getting referee outfit. And then Wardlow is, he's led to the ring. By the way, did you see the two security guys in the front when he first started the long walk? They looked like they were 12 years old. The last several weeks, there have been some interesting looking security guards mixed in with some people who may or may not be felons. Well, they they had some big burly looking fuckers and they put them in the back and had, you know, it looked like fucking Hook's illegitimate cousin on, in front. But anyway, so MJF checks Wardlow and then he's, you know, for foreign objects and then he's going to let him out of the handcuffs, but son of a gun, he can't find the key. And when he can't find the key, Spears flies over there and jump starts it, and then they're they're two on one beating the shit out of Wardlow while he's still handcuffed. And then Wardlow starts firing back on Spears, but MJF gets in front of him, dares him to punch him, and spits in his face. And Wardlow breaks the fucking cuffs, and there was a big pop. That was a perfect spot. And he makes the big comeback on Spears, and Spears tries to. Here was one of the two things coming up. Spears is trying to escape the cage. He's trying to climb over the top to get away from Wardlow, right? Within two to three minutes, they're going to show you, demonstrate that the cage door was never locked. So just these things. Uh, but he makes the comeback. Spears tries to leave. Wardlow stops him. Bumps him in the ring, comes off the top with a senton. Wardlow, a senton off the top. What form? What agility? What target? He missed him. <laughs> I swear that was the only, it was, and the people popped anyway. But poor Wardlow, he went too far. He went straight over him. And it just goes to show when he gets the range down, he can do the move because it was perfect. There was just nobody underneath it. Uh, but then, as Wardlow went for a power bomb, MJF from behind kicks him in the balls, and Spears hit a quick finish for a fast two count, but Wardlow still kicked out. And that's when Spears leaves and just opens the door. So, did you notice that? Why was he climbing earlier if the door to the cage was not locked? You're right. I. I <laughs> But anyway, he was, so he leaves through the unlocked door, he gets a chair, he brings it in, MJF holds Wardlow, Spears swings, Wardlow ducks, Spears nails MJF, what a fucking bump, he did timber over it, he laid there motionless, and the people start chanting, you fucked up. And then Spears does the slowly I turned, and there's Wardlow, and he grabs him, three power bombs, a second referee runs in, one more power bomb on a chair. One, two, three, huge pop. I, I've, and, and there's a little bit of afterbirth here, but I just, I love that. And the only thing, if they'd have thought of this 
and I guess, oh, God damn, the UPS guy is bringing me some shit, leaving it in my driveway. I guess it, th this worked also, but I did a deal one time in Smoky Mountain where I it was the same thing. I was the referee of, oh, God damn, I can't remember who it was now. Is it one of the Freedom Halls and Johnson City shows? But I'm the referee, and I'm taking up for the heel against the baby face. And we did a deal where the baby face makes his comeback, blah, blah, blah. And suddenly the fucking heel tries to do something, but the baby face sidesteps and the heel runs into me and knocks me goofy. And I'm laid down face down on the mat and the baby face fucking hits the heel with whatever he's going to do. Boom, covers him and grabs my limp hand and slaps the mat three times with it. So I was still the referee and I stand the, the referee of record still made the count. That might have been a cute little thing for Wardlow to do. But nevertheless, the people loved it. And then Wardlow grabs MJF and goes to fucking powerbomb him. But here comes security. And now they've got a reason to run at him one at a time because they're bottlenecked and log jammed at the cage door. So as they come through the cage door one at a time, boom, 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 boom. He took out 15 of them. And MJF escaped and got away and Wardlow's standing on that cage and the people are going crazy. This may be, it wasn't the best match they've ever done on their television, obviously, but this, this may be for what it was supposed to do and the result it was supposed to get and the feeling you were supposed to be left with. This may be the best angle they've ever done and it was under 15 minutes. What'd you think? I don't know if I would call it the best angle they've ever done, but I thought it was great. The only sad thing was you knew that it was going to all be downhill after this because typically the MJF Wardlow segments and the Punk segments are the highlights of the show. Looking forward to this match. If it's a one and done, it'll be interesting to see what they do. If it's going to be a series of matches, it'll still be interesting. But I'm going to reiterate my fears, especially after watching the booking of the rest of the show. I really hope they don't mess up Wardlow because they got... <laughs> They got the chance to do something really, really cool here and have a special run for him. But you also need the booking to help out on the other side. Yeah. And that, you know, is up in the air. But I, I say I say it was the best angle because I'm trying to think of another one where the end turned out perfectly and you weren't it didn't go too long. There weren't too many extraneous people involved. It didn't take your mind off the point they were trying to make by the end of the thing. They were focused here. So I like that. I don't mean, Cody and Jade is still in a league oh, of its own. I don't know. It's a league of its own. 20,000 leagues under the sea. 